In this video, we're going to continue our discussion of applied optimization. And in this problem, we're going to look at a cylinder example. We're actually going to take the dimensions for a regular 12 ounce soda can and neglecting the thickness of the material, we're going to try to discover what should be the dimensions that would minimize the surface area. So we've been asked to design a can shaped right circular cylinder that's going to hold 12 ounces of liquid and it's going to have the least amount of material used. So we're trying to minimize our surface area. So let's look at, I've already got a picture drawn here. We're wanting to know what would the radius and the height of this cylinder be that would use the least amount of material. Well, we know that the volume is 12 ounces, so we need to convert that over into some kind of linear measurement. And if you go out and do a search, you can find that 12 fluid ounces is equal to 354.882 cubic centimeters. So that now gives me linear measurements that I can use so I can measure my radius and my height. Well, the 12 ounces is my volume, and we know that the volume of a cylinder is found by using pi r squared h. So we can substitute in that the volume is 354. 0.882, and that's going to be equal to pi r squared h. But we're trying to minimize surface area. So let's come up with a formula for surface area. Well, remember that a cylinder is actually made up of two circles, the top and the bottom, and then a rectangle. So to find the surface area, I just want to add all those areas together. So the two circles would give us an area of 2 pi r squared. And then for the rectangle, remember that we have the height of the rectangle is also the height of my cylinder. And the length of my rectangle would actually be the circumference of that circle, which would be 2 pi r. So the area of my rectangle is 2 pi r h. So I can add that to my area for my two circles, and now I have the formula for the area of our cylinder. But we want to get that down to just one variable, so let's go back to our first equation and solve for h. So we know that the height would be equal to 354.882 divided by pi r squared. So now I can substitute that into my surface area formula, and then I'll have my surface area in terms of just the radius. So take a moment and pause the video, and then substitute in the value for h, and then come back and check to see that you got the same answer that I have. So at this point, you should have that your surface area formula is 2 pi r squared plus 709.764 over r. Now remember, we're again trying to minimize my surface area, so the next thing I'm going to want to do is take a derivative. So I want you to go ahead and take a moment, pause the video, take your derivative, and combine it into one fraction, and then we'll pick up from there. So you should end up with your derivative as 4 pi r cubed minus 709.764 over r squared. Now to get my critical points, I need to find out what would make the fraction or make the derivative zero or undefined, but for the fraction to be zero, the top would be zero, and for it to be undefined, the denominator would be zero. So if the denominator is zero, that gives me that r is zero, but that's not reasonable for my problem because remember this is a cylinder and so my radius couldn't be zero. And then if I set the numerator equal to zero and solve you're going to get that r is the cube root of 709.764 divided by 4 pi, which is 3.837. So that would be my critical point that I need to consider. So I can now look at the second derivative, and I'm going to do that from this point and get that a double prime is 4 pi plus 2 times 709.764 over r cubed. 
but I can see that if I put in 3.837 for R, that's going to give me a positive answer, which tells me that that critical point is your minimum. So I now know that if you let your radius be 3.837 centimeters, you're going to have your minimum surface area. I also need to find the height, but if I go back to my original problem, remember that we had at one point that the height was 359.882 divided by pi r squared. So if we substitute in our value for r, we're going to get that our height would then be 7.674 centimeters. And there would be my two dimensions that I need to minimize my surface area.